Okay guys, so what I'm here to talk about today is some NFL and more specifically why Rob Gronkowski should be allowed to take as much time as he needs to return to the Patriots. Now, I'm sure you guys heard all the stories. If not, I'll put it down below. But basically, the New England Patriots are beginning to question why Rob Gronkowski isn't playing when he's practicing at a hundred percent percent. And these reports only escalated this past weekend when it was reported by ESPN a warrior that his teammates are starting to regret him because he's practicing at a hundred percent guess he got pain. And I have a theory why Rob Gronkowski isn't playing yet. Rob Gronkowski isn't playing yet because of how the NFL contracts are formatted. We all know that all NFL contracts are not fully guaranteed. Let's, say, let's take Rob Gronkowski's contract that he signed last June in 2012. Rob Gronkowski signed a six-year, $53 million deal but only 16.5 million is guaranteed over those six years. Which means, quite possibly, if he had another injury or two, the Patriots might cut him and just owe him 16.5 mil instead of owing him $53 million. So when Rob Gronkowski looks at it and says to himself, I already know I suffered a lot of injuries. In fact, Rob Gronkowski missed his last year in college, which was 2009. Due to a back injury, he missed five games last year due to a broken forearm and we broke it in the first half that he came back against Houston and had him play so far this year. So Rob Gronkowski knows that he's injury prone. And I'm pretty sure he knows that the New England Patriots have this method that while a player can be a phenomenal player, they rather release him a year early than a year too late. And in my opinion, for the Patriots, Rob Gronkowski is getting to the point where they feel like as much as Rob Gronkowski is a phenomenal player, in fact, for his career, he had, for his career, he had a hungry and 87 receptions for 2,663 yards with 38 touchdowns. His best season came in 2011 when he had 
90 receptions for 1,300 and 27 yards with 17 touchdowns. So, even though uh, Rob Gronkowski is definitely one of the top five best tight ends, he already knows that the Patriots have the theory of releasing a player a year early than releasing him a year too late. And like I said, the Patriots, I bet, are starting to wonder if Rob Gronkowski is going to be worth it the investment to keep around when he's super injury prone. So, Rob Gronkowski, while he's a hundred percent physically, he needs to clear the mental hurdle. Because I think that's the only thing that's stopping him from playing. I think he has a fear in the back of him, his mind that says, what if I go out back on the football field and we injure my arm like I get against Houston and the Patriots might release him. I think he still has to hear that mental hurdle. And I think the Patriots can give him as much time as he needs. Because while the Patriots may find another KN, Rob Gronkowski, if he gets released from the Patriots, a team may pick, may pick him up but it may be a deal based on incentives, based on his health. Like, we'll pay one million dollars if you could play ten games, two million if you could play good team, and maybe four million if you could play the full season. It's not going to be like a Patriots deal where they're going to guarantee, guarantee 16.5 million. I believe if the Patriots release him, he's going to be, his deal is going to be incentive laden. So guys, tell me what you think of this. Peace.